Well, thank you very much. Wow. Tonight, former President Trump once again at the center of a political firestorm. The 2024 GOP primary frontrunner igniting controversy by blasting Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as his country reels from Hamas's unprecedented attack. I'll never forget that Bibi Netanyahu let us down. That was a very terrible thing. The comments a reference to the U.S. operation to kill Iranian General Qasem Soleimani, which Trump says Israel backed out of. The former president expressed support for Israel and pledged to stand with them if he's re-elected, but criticized the country's intelligence operation for failing to anticipate the attack. You talk about the intelligence or you talk about some of the things that went wrong over the last week. Uh, they've got to straighten it out because they're fighting potentially a very big force. During his speech to supporters in Florida, Trump seeming to praise Hezbollah, an Islamist military group and a U.S. designated terror organization. And then two nights ago, I read all of Biden's security people. Can you imagine? National defense people. And they said, gee, I hope Hezbollah doesn't attack from the north because that's the most vulnerable spot. I said, wait a minute. You know, Hezbollah is very smart. They're all very smart. One of Trump's 2024 rivals, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, firing back with his toughest criticism yet of the frontrunner. Writing on X, it is absurd that anyone, much less someone running for president, would choose now to attack our friend and ally, Israel, much less praise Hezbollah terrorists as very smart. As president, I will stand with Israel and treat terrorists like the scum that they are. We spoke with DeSantis today after he filed for the ballot in New Hampshire, where the nation's first Republican primary will be held in just three months. Former President Trump was critical of Prime Minister Netanyahu yesterday. What do you make of those comments? And having yourself been to Israel and met with Netanyahu, what do you make of his leadership, uh, especially in this moment of crisis? Now is not the time to be attacking our ally. Prime Minister Netanyahu is somebody that I've become friends with. You may have a personal vendetta or beef with him, but is that really the time to be out there doing that and to be attacking the Israeli defense minister? I don't think so. A White House spokesman also rebuking Trump's remarks, calling them dangerous and unhinged. The Trump campaign firing back, saying in a statement, President Trump was clearly pointing out how incompetent Biden and his administration were by telegraphing to the terrorists an area that is susceptible to an attack. Smart does not equal good. It just proves Biden is stupid. Allison, shortly after filing for candidacy here at the New Hampshire State Capitol, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced an executive order to rescue Floridians in Israel. The order says that there are Floridians in the country who are unable to return to the state, and this order would enable the Florida Division of Emergency Management to transport those folks home and to transport necessary supplies to Israel. Ellison? Dasha Burns, thank you. Coming up next, the lone soldiers of Israel and the crowds showing up to pay their respects. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.